Hi everyone, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I am bringing to you a little update on what I'm reading, what I finished um, over the last week or so. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to talk about where I am in general reading wise. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I'm going to try to put these up weekly um, just to have an idea uh, and for you to have an idea of some books that you might be wanting to read. So this week I've got a few um, on the go. As I've mentioned before on Tea Tuesday, I am somebody who reads a bunch of books at a time just so I don't get bored at all. So first one that, uh, that I want to touch on is Memoirs of a Geisha. And I'm hoping I'm pronouncing Geisha right or Geisha, Geisha. I, I, I'm not sure. But anyways, it's an older book. Yes. Um, and contrary to popular belief, it is not an actual like true story of a specific person. I understand that the author had interviewed a few uh, former geishas before he read, read the book, or uh, wrote the book, I should say. So um, it, 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 there are like pieces in there. Um, there was also a lawsuit or something like this where he used specific things um, that a geisha told him. I'm not really sure about that. Anyways, great book. Um, I really was glued in the whole way. Um, it was good. Uh, like the main character is, is you can really get attached to her and you can really you get irritated with her antagonist. <laughs> stuff like this um and i really loved how they talked about how they got dressed um why they did certain things how they got trained stuff like that it touched on a few of those things so really enjoyed the book if i was going to put it in stars um i probably would put it in a four out of five star so um next up i've got the great hunt um, I, this is my book, the, my go-to book when I've got, uh, I don't know what it is. It's an ongoing series by, um, Robert Jordan. It's an older series and I'm just kind of walking through it when I don't have another book I'm interested in reading at the time. So it's taking me like months to get through the book. Um, and books, uh, because it's a, a series. So this is only the second book and I've got to read the other ones, but it is something that I don't actively sit down and read every day or two. So it's, it's in there. I, I love it. It's, um, well, the second book I don't like as well as the first, the first seemed to move a little bit faster. The second book seems to have, that was dragging at first. I think we're just starting to get into the action right now. So I hope that, uh, it continues on. It's got a 4.26 rating on, uh, on Goodreads. So it must say it, it's Robert Jordan. He, he's a good writer. So, um, next up and, uh, this is an audio book. It's by Agatha Christie. I'm not usually an Agatha Christie person, but this was on my TBR. Somebody had mentioned it maybe in my in my um, book club that, that I'm in. So anyways, it's typical. And then, then there were none, it's called, I think. Yeah. And then there were none. And what it is, she's gathering people. And then, of course, things start happening. So... Um, the interesting thing is that you really don't know who is doing wh uh, what, but anyways, um, they're brought together and per Agatha Christie style, um, things start happening to the people. So, um, I am very, like, I'm not even... I think I'm on chapter two of that one. So, and it is an audio book. I'm listening to it. It's not very, it's not very long. It's like six hours. So I should breeze through that pretty fast um, while I'm crafting. So yeah, 
the main one that I'm reading right now, and then when I say main one, is that's the one that I'm going to the most, <laughs> basically. So um, it's True Biz, and it just so happens, it's funny, it's, it just so happens it's National uh, Deaf History Month, I think it is. Um, uh, yeah, National uh, Deaf History Month between March 13th and April 15th. So it's just interesting that I came upon it. It was something that was uh, suggested in my book club uh, by someone. I'm really happy with it. What it, uh, it is, is it's based at a school for the deaf. And it goes into a lot of cultural differences between deaf and hearing. Um, and also it goes into a lot of about their language. Um, because it's, when you go in, you've got like, um, little lessons, um, along the way that maybe the kids are having in their normal, like if they were in a normal school and, uh, you learn a lot from those little lessons. They also have a lot where they're showing you signs, which is great. I thought was very uh, it maybe puts you in the mindset, um, a little bit better. And, um, yeah, so it's a few kids having trouble. Um, I had a mistress that's having issues. Um, and she's, she's working on that and with the kids. So it, I find it very interesting. It, you see how the parents are, are, um, Deaf parents versus the hearing parents. Um, it, the um, uh, talk about the implants and stuff like that, and whether uh, what they're kind of like. I, it, I, it just goes into so much detail, and I thought it was so interesting. Um, it's True Biz um, if by Sarah uh, Novick, and True Biz is actually um, it is actually. Um, uh, uh, uh <laughs> the deaf use it as as like okay i better look it up for you true <laughs> this it's 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 um it's a saying that i just want to get it for you because i don't want to mess it up that's it you guys i should have brought it up but yeah, so, um, what is it? True, and they even have on here a true biz summary and study guide. So, and that's interesting. Um, it doesn't want to. Okay, so true biz meaning, I put it in, let me see. Urban Dictionary, True Biz, means true business, means something like seriously kind of thing. So, or no way or something like this. So it is, um, yeah, it's just a word. To, uh, yeah. Anyways, I don't know how to explain it, but you get what I'm saying to you. Um, so yeah, it's a really good book. If you're interested, please check it out. I uh, I forget what it has on, yeah, it's got a 4.13 rating on Goodreads, which is really good as far as I'm concerned. I find if there's like a three and a half up, I think it would be, but I definitely think it's a book that's, it's a four for me for the writing. Um, I'm not big into those um, coming of age kind of books. I'm not huge into them, but um, this one is is very good and it keeps me um, entertained and uh, yeah. So that's my book update for this week. That's It didn't go too, too long. So I hope you check and check me out um, next week. I'm going to post where I am. I'm probably going to be finished True Biz and on to another book and I'll discuss that. And yeah, have a good one. Bye.